Hey everybody, TVG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time we arrived here at the Divide, only to find out that the person who led us here is going to make us walk the whole thing if we want to figure out, well, why we're here in the first place. I decided to take the night to stay up in this little crow's nest area just so that I could be safe from the horrible abominations down below. It's been a nice little safe area, but unfortunately, it seems it's time for us to get a move on. We still got mu much road to cover, and I would say little time to do it, but yeah, who knows. Maybe we'll make up for lost time. Let's just head back down the crow's nest. I've been getting this strange feeling that I've been being watched this entire time. I don't know, we did see someone watching us from a little alcove over there. And it didn't look like it was one of the marked men. Maybe it was Ulysses, maybe it was someone else. Who knows? Ugh, I, I don't even want to know what might be slithering around down there. Or what could be marching around up here. Uh, looks clear right now. I swear, if we find any more of those tunnelers around here, I'm just gonna be like, Nope, done. You can have the divide. God, I am close to death. I'm literally a hairs away from death. I only have 5 HP. What happened to my auto wind jacks? Did they get used up already? And I couldn't have. Hi. I'm surprised that didn't kill you. But that did. Got a death causer up here. What could be waiting for me down there? It's a good thing this highway is very high. Come on. Down, boy! I had the dark gun in this game. Thank you, Eddie. Oh, the auto injects impact just went in.
figured it out like I am, or else I feel like I would never be able to get to the other side of this highway. side saying that there's yeah, all, all due respect sir I think you're making a mistake we're close to a breakthrough with the Duraframe iBots I can feel it yes sir yes sir I understand that we need the Duraframe assets for Hellfire armor but no sir yes sir I understand sir I'll tell the team to start disassembling the ED series prototypes right away. Eddie, you little rascal, were you eavesdropping again? I think those videos you watch are a bad influence on you. How much of that did you hear? Hmm. Didn't Dr. Grant say she'd upgraded your navigational systems? And I think I have an idea. How'd you like to be just like Ralphie? Sounds like Dr. Whitley was a bit of a rogue element. Do you record everything that's said around you? Eddie, you sly devil. Really? Well, I better be careful what I say to you, huh? No, Eddie, I didn't want to hear your recordings of human mating calls. That's just wrong. Oh, Eddie. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. This is something around here. I don't like no knowing what dangers lurk around the corners. Excuse me, Eddie. It almost made me scared. I thought there was another death claw coming right around just to munch on my butt. Actually, before we do that, we need to make a little pit stop. The reason we need to go down here to make a pit stop is because the last snow globe in the game is actually located down here. It's a bit out of the way, so if you didn't know it was down here, well, there's a good chance you'll probably miss it forever. We need to go, I believe it's into that building. I just want to make sure there's no death claws down here. I want to try and sneak up on me and rip my face off again. Ugh. Junction 7 rest stop. Oof. That's a lot of red. I don't like that sound. Oh god, tunnelers. Alright, just try and come up the stairs. I dare ya. Double dare ya! There you are. The final snow globe! Let it all end. I would like to let it all end, but... The madness will just keep taking over. Oh god! Shoe fly, don't bother me! I need something good and I need something powerful. 
Nail gun won't do me a lick of good. Uh, the shoulder mounted machine gun, of course. I'm not gonna have an arm after shooting this thing, but at least it should do something. Oh god, my arm! It's like God shoulder checking me. Also, the power armor, I don't ever see this thing actually serving a decent function. Like, seriously, a sh it's a shoulder mounted machine gun. Not much room in I can easily shoot this thing without, you know, ripping my entire arm off. I should probably, well, uh, Eddie should come back whenever I get to the next area. I just want to get out of Tunnler Town. There's another death claw up there, isn't there? I just know it. And Eddie's out cold again. <laughs> oh, maybe it's Markman. I mean, there's traps, so it makes sense. I will gladly deal with marked men over death claws any day. Ow. Okay, maybe I'll take that back. God, these guys just love their mines. God, Eddie, that terrified me. Yeah, terrified me. I is do good words when I'm spooked. machine gun. Good, I could use it to repair. If you would just hold still for just a second and boop! I said boop! I said boop! Thank you. weren't ready for that, huh? I've got plenty of... I can get to it. Buff out. That should tie me over until I can find another station to sell this stuff at. Excuse me, sir. Were you perhaps the guy who had... No, you were a sniper. Up, up, there we go. Where was the guy with the 
shoulder-mounted machine gun. There it is. shot the this one because I haven't been using it a lot. Come on, open, thank you. Ammo box. Sniper rifle. Alright, let's get into this silo. And we need to wake up the past as Ulysses vaguely put. nice if I got like AP 10 millimeter rounds, but I don't think those exist. Or they probably do. Silo control. Fire it up, Eddie. Alright. Guess we got no other choice. Gotta open up the silo to get inside. What? Wait, no, I didn't want to launch a nuclear device. I just wanted to open the silo. This could be bad. Trying to get all the way to Navarro? Isn't that in NCR territory? Whitley turned you loose all on your own. It must have been scary. Sounds like it wasn't easy for him either. I bet Whitley would be proud of you making it this far. Come on, buddy. Let's get a move on. Courier's Mile. It looks like the missile hit somewhere on the other side of the divide. You think you could reach that location from the blast from Hopeville? That is, if you feel brave enough to explore ground zero of a nuclear blast. I don't think there's enough Radex, Radaway, or Power Armor in the world that's going to protect me from that radiation fallout. Also, shouldn't I be doing like the Vault Boy thing to make sure I'm not in the fallout zone here? Because I'm pretty sure I'm in the fallout zone right here. All the more reason to get inside the missile silo. Eddie! Come on, Eddie. We can do this. Except we're going down instead of up. 
I swear if a tyrant jumps down onto this thing, then I'm just done. If a thing of bleach is also fall on here, I'm done. Oh God! I didn't think she would literally be on the other side of the door when I opened it up. Why is there a sentry bot in medical?
Not for a brake layer, unfortunately, but I got it for the shoulder mounted machine gun. This thing has a pretty high recoil, so why don't we fix that, shall we? Time to apply a brand new mod. Automatically getting it on the first try now. It's kind of funny if you ask me. There it is. I bought a three. You now have rank three. Eddie has now two damage thresholds, or two plus damage thresholds now. You're moving up, on up, little guy. Now, how do I get down there without breaking my shins? I guess I could try and parkour my way down, but I don't th think that would end well. Hmm, maybe these conveniently stairs are the way to go. Maybe not. Did everything just stop exploding around me? That seems to be a reoccurring thing whenever I enter places. Everything starts, starts exploding around me, or it all ends up being on fire. Uh, that's the thing. Is there anything of value inside this room? Ah uh, yes, because this seems like the smart thing to do. Go back underground. Just starting to turn the gears of war. Two. Let's go blue. Now with more underground this. Sunstone Tower. I'm not going to haul all these books back to Big Mountain. I already still have a boatload of books I need to process. I had nothing to do with this. You delivered a package. 
had markings that matched those in the Divide. Not all, but enough. Military markings from some place the bear had savaged in the West. Maybe seeing those markings on it reminded you of home, made you carry it. You said I brought it from the West? This package, I don't recall it. It was from the West, from deep in NCR. Whether made by them or not, it came here through your hands. It was a device, a detonator, one I'd never seen before, or heard before. You carried that thing to the Divide. I know, because I followed you as you walked the road, watched you do it. You brought it here, to the community you built. And you are responsible for what happened after, when the device opened, started to speak. When it did, the Divide answered back. Those missiles you've seen, buried in their silos. They exploded beneath the ground, cracked the landscape. Sand, ash, the dead. The Divide skies became a graveyard. If you saw this happen, then how did you survive? Should have died there. But now that I know you live, the machines here saved me. I was the only survivor, or thought I was. Your package, the message inside, awoke medical machines, close to the one that shadows you, began to build themselves, then others. They only take what parts they find in the Divide, never roam beyond it. Can't even leave the silos without a human to shadow. Like hounds. Maybe they saw the flag on my jacket, thought I was of America. If so, history saved me. A sign. This package, you said you, it had markings. What was it? Machinery. Simple on the outside, computer parts, inside, more complicated. Was the only time I heard a machine speak in the divide. The only machine with a voice. Why would I have brought it here then? I've walked the east. You've walked the west. More than I have. Circle Junction, Reno. Vault City. Word of you at Fort Aradesh. Fort Abandon. Even further west than that, Brahmin drives on the big circle. Whatever you saw out there wasn't enough to make you stay. Maybe the markings on the package reminded you of the road home. I'm not responsible for this. There's no way I could have known. If you had been there when it happened, if you had seen the divide break, you would know it. You carry death wherever you go. If the Mojave doesn't know it yet, it will. What happened here can happen again. You already proved it. What you did in Ashton, the silo there. I had no idea the silo was active until the missile was launched in the air. Didn't stop you, though. Like carrying the chip to Vegas. Old world death in your hand. Pieces of the old world like that just need someone careless enough to take them where they need to go to do their killing. You wanted me to come to the Divide? I'm here. Now what? Your roads are not done. Haven't walked it full yet. Not nearly enough. The way ahead and below leads to the heart of the Divide. And there, you and I, we'll have an ending to things. I'm not done talking to you yet. There's more I still want to know. Already heard you once, long ago, and loud enough for history to hear. Tired of your messages. Still, curiosity drove you this far. Let's see what else it can do. You said you made a promise not to kill me. Why? 
Isar's orders. Some time before, I realized the why of it. Wasn't just you. All couriers. No telling how many were legion. Maybe all of them. Wasn't sure about you until the divide. All the NCR burning. That much death. It bears the mark of a legion hand. But you've killed like NCR. Like Hanlon. With mines, bombs, missiles. Killed legion along with the bear. Like a coward. Kills from a distance. If you were a legion, then NCR beat you. The West changed you. I was never a legion agent. I know that now. Doesn't change what was done. The legion who died here. Even if you were a legion, you would answer for those deaths by Kaisar's law. What's our history? How do you know me? I knew all of you. Your name. Your road to and from the Divide. What that meant for the Legion. We never spoke. Knew you through your actions. Knew you'd walked the West as I'd walked the East. Learned different lessons. And I would never have discovered the Divide without you. I want to talk more about your recordings I found here in the Divide. You scavenge words. Things I have no need of. No history there worth recounting. Scour the Divide. Claw at it for meaning. But my words will give you no answer. I've been collecting them, listening to your talk about history enough to make me under- Maybe I'll understand. They won't help you understand what happened here. And they won't help you understand me. Keep them. Listen. Study them. They won't help you here in the Divide. I haven't listened to them all. If there's time, I will. As I said before, it's of no consequence. Never intended you to find them. Never intended you to hear them. Questions in those tapes I still haven't found answers to. You won't be the one to give them. Oh, you say that now. You wouldn't have recorded those messages if they didn't matter to you. Maybe not. Who's to say? You, perhaps, found them. Heard them after I cast them aside. Maybe there was purpose in that. If they matter. If history matters. We'll see at the end of the road. And logs, you mentioned a tribe called the Twisted Hairs. Was that your tribe? Twisted Hairs are dead. Lost at dry wells. Died in Wolpus' smile. Won't discuss their fate with you. Not now. Their past is mine to keep. Walk farther. See me face to face. You might earn more. Now let the words keep you without me adding to them. The logs of the Big Empty mentioned you'd spoken to history? I had. Did. It was madness. Asked them a question in anger. Got an answer. More than I expected. Answer told me what happened here at the Divide. The how of it. And that was enough. The tape has the telling of it. Don't need me adding to the questions already there. Before I go any further, I deserve some more answers. You've seen the Divide. Walked it. Farther than I thought you would. Not sure how much farther you have in you. If you need answers, speak. You've earned them. Even if only you and I can carry them from here. What about the package I delivered? You know what it was. It had the symbols of America on it. New markings. From after the Great War. Thought it might be America come again. 
promise of another future, another flag. But what was it? It was a piece of machinery, military, holding memories, codes maybe. When it woke, made these sounds, words. When it spoke, the divide became fire. The ground tore apart like the skies. Through it all, kept calling out, maybe calling for home. All right, well, where's it now? Buried in the divide, part of it now. Wherever it is, it's been silent. If it spoke again, we'd know. What do you mean, when it woke? Machine couldn't speak by itself. Needed a terminal to access it. Like the terminals in the silos here. Or the machine with you. When it was connected, it started speaking. And the divide answered. Alright, well, this canyon is miles long. Maybe longer. Where can I find you? At the end of the divide. Through the trenches and wreckage. That's where you'll find me. A new home, here, amongst dead men. You and that machine. Keep your eyes on the tower that cuts the horizon. You'll find your way. Made it this far. Not much farther to go. I'm guessing the Markman heard our conversation. Oh, I don't... Oh, wait, there's one. Okay. Since I got the drop on him. I think that got him. Now I just need to find a way down. Ah, this way. Wait a second. Could have sworn I saw something. My eyes playing tricks on me. I could have sworn I saw something move over there. What are you so excited about, buddy? shot to our destination. Hopefully there's no more detours. The white legs. 
bent to show respect, bribed me for Kaiser's favor. Echoing mannerisms and words, showed them tech caches, taught them the workings of chamber and powder, spoke of Kaiser's pride in those that used such things. Lies. And... And then... Chicago. I can attest to that. There's still a couple of marked men down there. Where? I don't know. Probably scattered all over the place thanks to that warhead I detonated. Ah, over there. Oh god, he's got a plasma caster. Uh, this is gonna do nothing. I get better use of this machine right here. My god, they're everywhere. to hit him once, twice. Hold still. 
Manetti. I need your help, buddy. There you are. Like there's a way I could get into that building. Just need to know the right way to do so. Oh, more rats. Didn't expect to see you guys out and about. Private Foster's personal journal. This has to say, Jesus, this place is a hellhole. I heard it was bad from some of the guys coming back, but Jesus. Eckerson brought it when one of those unexploded warheads went off, and Jenkins, those things got him. I don't know what they were exactly, ghouls maybe, but nasty fuckers. LT thinks that they were driven by the explosion that killed Eckerson. I think we're all gonna die here. Nice to see that you got optimism. And there's nothing back here. Okay. Wait. No. Just wanted to be thorough. Let's see. To my right, death. To my left, even more death. Pull out the plasma caster that we got. I never actually used these things in mass, so who knows? Maybe they're good? I mean, they have to be, right? Nope! <laughs> Back here. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you, buddy. Ah, this looks like the way in. Ah, I knew there was something in here, but it was just MREs. 
you. Uh oh, we told him not to suck. Come on, let's go. There we go. Starting to get annoying. All right, fire in the hole, Eddie. You might want to move. I just made my job that much harder. Go me! I know you're in there. I think I might have a... Yeah, I got a frag grenade. That was the worst throw ever. Of all time. you in this building. Doesn't look like it. Okay, there's that. I mean, I didn't really need a leg anyway. Just hobble myself out of here. Apple away keeps the death away. I, I messed that up. I am so sorry. Into the sewers we go. I believe that there's another iBot upgrade down here. Hopefully there isn't something nightmarish down here, knock on wood. What did I say about nightmares being down here? I didn't want them.
Andy, you're just becoming a one robot workhorse. Oh, hello, what do we have here? Another ride control. Elite right here, ooh. Sneak sight, speech five, perception two, critical chance five, guns ten, and charisma one, damn. Troopers had had it big. Now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the best non-power armor armor in all of Fallout New Vegas. The elite ar arm, the, the, the elite riot armor set is probably my favorite armor set in the entire series, mainly because, well, you know. It's got the, it's the NCR Ranger armor, so it looks awesome. It's got all these, like, cool little gadgets and gizmos. It's got, like, this, like, little headlamp radio thing on the side. It's all decked out in all this armor and stuff. It's got this little flask on the front. It's just really cool. And I'm happy I got it. I'm gonna put those on you for now until I can find a spot to sell most of it. But I really do like the Elite Riot set. Hopefully we get to see a bit more of it. Uh, Eddie, could you fix this for me real quick? Thank you, buddy. Bring the plasma caster back out. You know, if you strip out the plasma relays on those energy cells, you could make flamer fuel. Remove the safety safety catches uh, catches on those microfusion cells, and you could turn them into satchel charges. And that's it. Uh, I guess we'll just go with the standard microfusions, and we'll go with satchels. Would be nice to use, but they're also good to sell. I can't really... I don't think I can use satchel charges unless I have a detonator with me, like the C4. My job that much harder because I'm an idiot and love exploding things. We're gonna have to go underground again. <sighs> We're gonna have to go underground again, aren't I? At least there's no markmen. Well, to be safe. Nope. Uh, it's not in here. It must be on the outside. There's a way into a tunnel that we need to go into if we want to circumvent around that fallen building. Aha! Here we go. Cause you know, that worked out so well for me last time. Eddie, were you just playing the trailer to the game at me? That was a 308 round, probably hand loaded. That would have destroyed most robots to your side. What was that? That sounded bad. Raiders, huh? Amateurs. 
No, no, that sounds too mean to him. That sounded bad. Sounds like they blew out your primary stabilizing jets. I can't believe you kept going after that. No wonder that you did make it to Navarro. Don't worry, I'm just messing with you, buddy. That was for that human mating call earlier. You know what you did. I know, Eddie. I don't like it any more than you do, but we don't really have much of a choice. Increasing your accuracy in VATS as long as Eddie is your companion. Eddie also gains accuracy boost when he's your companion. So, with that, we found all of Eddie's upgrades. Go us! I knew I was about ready to forget something. It's a good thing I didn't backtrack. Putting it off for now. Don't really have much of a choice. We gotta go back underground. This really is Gears of War 3. 2. I meant to say 2. In the sense that I do not like being underground. I see to finally join Eddie. God, I think I might have come across one of their breeding grounds with how many there are down here. Come on, burn! Oh god, it's a queen! Oh, this could end badly. This could end really badly! I'm 
Next week on Ralphie the Robot's Incredible Odyssey. Ralphie, why? If mean old General Winters catches you, you'll never make it home. Explosion. That building falling deep in the divide might have been your work. Wouldn't kill you. Maybe close. Knew you'd survive. But no need to go any farther. You've brought me what I need. That machine with you. Sealed in the Hopeville silo. Needed someone to unlock it. Bring it home. Now the signal's strong enough. No need for you to carry it anymore. I can call your machine to me. Wait, what, Eddie? You gave it a name. What was it to you? Companion? Slave? Weapon? All of that. Nothing compared to its primary function. It's a messenger. Like us. And it shares our history. If you feel it's loss, remember, you could have turned away at any time, gone back home, and none of this would have happened. But you had to make one last delivery, and that's why I knew you'd come a courier. Couldn't stay away. It's who you are. You're not taking Eddie from me. The machine you brought is mine now. It's coming home. I'll reduce it to parts, just enough to function, to be aware of what's happening. What's inside that machine? That's all that mattered. All the machines here, made of wreckage from the divide, and all that was brought here. Inside its frame, it carries the message you brought here, and it'll do what it was programmed to do, whatever it can to get home. The giants here will listen to it. I'll bring the divide to your home, your nation. Let its flag burn, just like you let the divide burn. Big mountain access code, Ulysses, command override, Navarro. Eddie? Oh god! Ulysses has seized control of Eddie, and you have lost Eddie as a companion, and everything he was carrying has been transferred to you. Eddie, no! Eddie, come back! Blame it all on me. Oh god. All those missile silos are armed and they're gonna aim straight for Vegas. We gotta stop this. Only I can do it apparently. I'm gonna use the combat armor that I built up for a long time. Things can just 
never be easy, and the Markmen are not going to make my job any easier. Mm. We've got to circumvent our way around this whole place. I don't even want to know what that was. Sounds very ominous. Wait a second. These crates look a little too new to be just wreckage around here. Oh god. We're in Death Call territory again. I didn't want to be in Death Call territory again. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, big guy. Well, he came on. He just came on a little too strong there. That's what I'm talking about. Not so tough, are you now, huh, buddy? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, as you should be. I'm angry now. My little buddy got taken away from me. And now it's my job to do it. My buddy's taken away. Nuclear devices are aimed at my home. The guy who brought me here just used me just to get my little buddy. I'm angry. I need to take my anger out on something. Ow, ow. You'll do nicely. has definitely the most animated re reloading sequence. Ow, where the hell is that coming from? Ah, there you are. I think I got him.
something back there. Rawr. Hi. How's it going? You're not gonna try and come over here and eat me, are you? Actually, I think he's just trying to show me off his sick dance moves. Not bad. Oh, wow, he is actually dancing. Look at me, I'm dancing, I'm dancing. Eh, uh, I give it a 7 out of 10. What do you guys think? Do you think this best squad has some sick dance moves? Leave it down in the comments if you think so. Look at him go. I don't want to kill him. I kind of want to bring him back to Vegas and put him to work at one of the casinos. Maybe put him at the, to work at the tops. He's definitely got the moves for it. Although, he would probably eat all the customers. And I do need them to make money. Sorry, gotta kill you. Oh god, he's fast. Uh oh. This might hurt. This will hurt. The one time I kind of wish I had turbo one. Well, I give your dancing a 7 out of a 10, but I give your fighting style only a 5. Rar's Talon. This claw is larger and more impressive than that of Lesser Death Claw. You might be able to turn it into a weapon if you find a workbench. Well then, I'll have to keep my eyes out. And let's get the buff out. Maybe that's a lie. And now I'm addicted. Great. Ugh. I always still have that in my pockets. Ah, oh, my helmet's destroyed. I like the helmet. All right, guess this will have to go work for now. At least until I can find a replacement helmet. What's left the weary wayward travelers? Ah, I see. This was literally a raid boss lair. Because the exit was caved in behind me. I guess that's kind of a way you could also defeat Roar, as you uh, basically bait him to go over here, then blow the nuke up right behind him. Or in front of him. Depends on how good you are. Oh god. I am so sick of landmines. I cannot wait to get out of here so I don't ever have to deal with landmines ever again. Oh, that's where I came from. Almost went in one big circle. We can't have that now, can we? Ow. Well, 
What, plasma mortars going off or something? Where's it coming from? Are there snipers up on the cliffs or something? Ow, what? Blade. Your third movie sucked. And the second one wasn't that good either. The first one was alright. The Blade of the West. Ow. My face. Mart Beast Eyes helmet. So the eyes helmet is this. Then the face helmet is... Ugh. Then this helmet is the most normal of all of them. And then the tribal helmet is this. Huh. Okay, I need to find something to repair this riot armor. Where is this coming from? Ow! Ah, <laughs> uh, not again. I'm running very low on stim- oh, hi. Another invisible guy? Didn't know there was a surplus of stealth boys around here. Oh hey, you got a ride shotgun. I'll take that, gladly. me. Oh man, can I get some anvils to throw at Ulysses? Oh no, wait, it's Acme. It would just come back and hit me in the face. Each time I hear an explosion, I'm pretty sure that's probably a new nuke readying itself to launch at Vegas. I need to get up there fast. Aha! A workbench! Ah. Uh, Nani? Fist of the North Rar. Doing it! Ah. All right. Test this out in just a minute. First, first things first, I'm going to take care of your little buddy right here. All right, let's test out and see how this thing works. Omae wa mou shinde iru. dead.
right now. How the hell do I get up there so I can, you know, save the city or something like that? Hmm, maybe this way. Aha! Uh -huh. A makeshift bridge. Or hill, I guess. I'm so sick of landmines! <sighs> Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Aha! You're the guy who's been picking me off from all the way back there. I don't even think I was doing any damage to him. Alright, fine. Did you feel that one? I'm sure he definitely felt that one. Man, just gonna take like a huge roundabout just to get up a hill. We're so close. I can almost taste it. Probably wasn't the best place for you to try and ambush me, buddy. Not again. Oh, God, my legs. And my arm. Oh. Hi there. Sorry for stopping by uninvited. Don't worry. I won't be long. Another one of you guys? Alright. You know what this calls for. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Well, we finally made it. Ulysses Temple. Ulysses and Eddie are inside. The nukes are pointed at Vegas, and we only have one shot to, you know, save the city. And all the Mojave, by the way. But, I think we're gonna save that for next time. Next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're gonna head inside. And we're gonna hopefully put an end to things. See you guys next time. Later. Thank <laughs> you.